I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we're going to return to our data engineering playlist, and we're going to talk about SQL insert statements, and more specifically, how to do multiple inserts in one SQL statement. And uh, this is very handy when you have a lot of inserts that you have to do, um, and you're only limited to using an, an SQL interface, um, and you don't have some kind of automation behind it, like SQL bulk copy, uh, for example, or something like that. Um, so it's a, it's a nice feature, and it's uh, supported on uh, SQL Server from 2008 forward. Um, and uh, it's a very handy uh, skill to have. I've been tripped up in the past uh, when I didn't know about um, multiple inserts and, and I found out and it was like a eureka moment and, and that was great. If you're interested in uh, some coaching or would like to get in touch, make sure that you check out my website. Uh, I will be offering uh, coaching sessions and, and I'd like to get to know you and uh, make sure that you uh, uh, check it out. Also check out my uh, Patreon page, uh, which I've just started, and, uh, and it'd be great to see you there. Let's get to our SQL multiple insert statements in SQL Server. Okay, so to demonstrate uh, this technique, I think I'll be using a table that I used once before to demonstrate another um, technique, and it's a table that has some cars in it. Um, for my fictional dealership, say. And uh, you can see I've got, you know, select from car sales, and there's a bunch of rows down below. If I hit F5 on that select statement, it gives me all of those cars. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a, an insert statement uh, for multiple rows, and that's going to allow us to, um, to do one statement, which is a lot easier on the server. Um, rather than having to process, uh, you know, many, many statements one after another, even though uh, SQL Server, for example, is very good at pooling all of those guys, and if you do make single inserts, a whole bunch of them, it typically is very efficient at doing that, but uh, this is even more efficient um, since it does it all in one shot, and uh, that can be uh, very helpful. So just to demonstrate a typical insert, uh, what we would do is we'd go uh, insert into my car sales table and I'd say, you know, insert into car maker, car model, car price, and car color. And then we would, you know, um, continue our statement and we would say values of, uh, you know, I'll put in, um, say, Toyota. And uh, we'll put Toyota and then uh, we'll put in uh, say a, a Corolla and we'll put in a fictional price um, as a number since that's a numeric field and then I'll put in a color um, white and and that's a single insert, insert statement and uh, if we were to you know run that one uh, hit F5 then that's gonna you know uh, insert one row and that's kind of what we wanted to see. And, um, you know, if I go select star from car sales again, and I hit F5 on there, select that SQL and hit F5, then you can see uh, there's my Corolla on the end, uh, row number 21. And you can see this table has an identity uh, column, so it auto-incremented auto that uh, ID column for us. And, you know, you could, if you wanted to, and wanted to add some more cars uh, for Toyota, you could just copy and paste your statement, which is what a lot of people do, and uh, which is something I've done many times in the past uh, when you're looking for a quick solution. And you can say, you know, here's my new uh, numbers, here's my new uh, car and color, and, uh, and, and I'll do that a few times. Um, let's make this a Camry. And uh, there you go, we've got a Camry and some new numbers and a different color. And uh, that's gonna allow us to do three insert statements, but that is three statements. So I hit F5 on that one. Um, you can see that there's three row 
uh, or three one row affected um, return results there are messages and uh, that's because we had three distinct um, well, there's our original one plus the three we just did and uh, so we did a Corolla RAV4 and a Camry um, and uh, that was three statements that um, so it took you know it was processed three times and so the question is is how could we do that in one statement so that there's only you know it's only needs uh, to be processed once and the answer to that is by sort of taking our three statements and um, taking the values and the uh, the parts that are in parentheses <clears throat> and we're gonna combine all of those um, so that it's kind of like all one big um, one big statement and so uh, we've got our three sets of data there and we'll put we'll put a comma after the first two and then uh, we'll go back and put our values in front of the uh, the first one because we're going to say values um, just like we did before so now you can see we've got um, three of our cars that we we're going to put in we'll change these uh, to say let's do Mazdas instead this time so uh, so now I can insert Mazda 3 and I'll change the uh, the numbers on that one and the color and that's gonna um, be our first car uh, that we put in in our multiple statement and then uh, I'll do uh, Mazda and I'll do Mazda 6 for the second one and I'll change the number for that just for demonstration purposes and uh, and then change the color um, and then the last one um, I think I'll do as a Mazda uh, CX-9 or something like that so um, as you can see the the statement includes multiple sets of uh, uh, you know uh, sort of row data in parentheses and uh, you can add a whole bunch of those um, uh, up until you hit sort of like the length limit uh, which is different for each database system um, but it's quite a few like you can add quite a few rows in one shot and uh, that's something that you really want to be able to do so so now that I've got all my my uh, statements in there um, I could say copy and paste um, another one in there or a whole bunch as as I was just saying I could do a CX-7 and a CX-9 and uh, all in one shot and that's going to be a very efficient way of doing it and so there we go now you can see I'm uh, missing a comma there by the looks of it um, so now you can see that uh, we've got all four of our rows and uh, we can uh, put our comma in and uh, it doesn't look like there's any other errors so we'll hit a five and uh, that's gonna give a return result and you'll see the message says four rows affected in one m return message and uh, that is exactly what we want to see so now if I run my select star from car sales you can see all my Mazdas at the bottom which I put in in a single statement which is uh, exactly what I wanted to do for efficiency purposes uh, and that is how you can do uh, multiple insert statements in SQL on SQL Server. I hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do multiple inserts in SQL. Uh, if you like what you saw today, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell when you see the bell, and put your comments in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.